In 2010, the Yamagata University Faculty of Engineering celebrated its 100th anniversary. Around 90 years before that, when Yamagata University Faculty of Engineering was still the Yonezawa Higher Technical School, Professor Itsuzo Hata succeeded in mass producing a fabric called rayon that was made of artificial silk fibers. Ever since then, the Yamagata University Faculty of Engineering has had a tradition of contributing to society through technological prowess. That achievement eventually led to Yonezawa, a castle town of Uesugishi, developing into one of the foremost industrial cities in the Tohoku area. In 1993, Dr. Junji Kido, who at the time was an assistant professor in the Department of Polymer Science and Engineering, succeeded in developing the world's first white organic LED device. Among organic materials that are produced from petroleum, plastics that conduct electricity and plastics that give off light are called functional organic materials. Among these, organic LED devices, or OLED devices, are light-emitting elements that cause electricity to flow through fluorescent organic materials so that they light up. A primary feature of these devices is that they achieve bright surface illumination at low voltage levels. The success of Dr. Kido's white organic LED devices focused worldwide attention on Yonezawa. In 1997, the world's first OLED display product was developed by the Yonezawa plant of Tohoku Pioneer Corporation and was eventually used in car navigation systems. So, Yonezawa became the birthplace of the first organic LED product to be developed anywhere in the world. In 2000, this product was used as a display in cellular telephone manufactured by Motorola, and as advances were made in color displays, it also began being used in digital cameras and video cameras. In 2003, the Research Institute for Organic Electronics, which was established by Yamagata Prefecture, began working on practical applications for organic LED lighting. As an outgrowth of that effort, a company called Lumiotech was established in 2008 and began mass producing organic LED white light illumination panels. In response to social trends such as these, the formation of International Research Hub for Organic Electronics, created by Yamagata University and Yamagata Prefecture, was adopted by the Japan Science and Technology Agency, or JST, as a Japan Regional Innovation Strategy Program by the Excellence in 2009. Not only did this lead to recognition of the achievements of the Yamagata University Faculty of Engineering, by now a world leader in the field, but it also brought recognition to organic LED research as a promising field of research and triggered a strategy for furthering mutually related research. To pursue that effort, the Research Center for Organic Electronics was established as a new research facility. The center has five stories and a total floor space of 5,700 square meters. The first floor houses two clean rooms, one class 100 and one class 1000, which are crucial in the production of the devices. And we have vacuum coating equipment and other equipment operating here. The other floors house the Flexible Device Development Laboratory, the Organic Transistor Materials Development Laboratory, the Organic Solar Cell Fabrication Process Development Laboratory, and other research spaces of the various divisions. Each of these is an independent space, and yet, at the same time, interacts closely with the others as research projects are promoted. I'm Dr. Yoshihiro Oba. I want to express my message as the director of New Research Center. This research center is the world's most advanced research center concerning organic electronics. 
this center has three major department uh, organic LED, organic solar cell, and organic transistor. This center must be uh, useful to become a low carbon society for next generation. We are looking forward to accept warm support from society. And also, uh, we are looking forward to join us to come your dream true. Thank you. The center comprises three divisions, each of which is engaged in research carried out under the guidance of globally renowned researchers. Let's take a closer look at each of these divisions. The OLED division, with Professor Junji Kido at its center, is working on the development of solution processable organic LED devices that will help reduce the cost of organic LED lighting, which is now being used in practical application. The aim is to use energy-saving lighting that rivals fluorescent lighting in terms of brightness and printing technology in order to reduce manufacturing costs and enable large volume manufacturing. Hello, <coughs> my name is Junji Kido. I am the director of OLED division here at Research Center. Uh, more than 20 years ago, <coughs> I started working on OLED and developed uh, white OLED <coughs> for the first time in the year 1993. And last year, <coughs> in the year 2010, uh, the company Lumiotech <coughs> started production of white OLED panel uh, for general lighting. So uh, here in Yamagata University, <coughs> we work on OLED materials, devices, and you know production tools on all the aspect of OLED research. <coughs> this year, uh, this research center started, and there are nearly ten uh, faculty members. Uh, working on OLED research. Also, uh, we have many researchers and students uh, come from all over the world. <coughs> so, uh, please join us here at the Research Center for OLED, OLED Research. Thank you. Flexible displays are one form of technology that takes advantage of the features of organic LEDs. In the Organic Transistor Division, the goal is to bring rollable portable televisions to the practical application stage in the near future. Professor Shizuo Tokito joined our team as the head of this division in August 2010. He's known as one of the world's foremost researchers in the development of flexible displays. Hello, I'm Shizuo Tokito. We have established a comprehensive flexible organic electronics program using devices based on organic semiconductor materials. Our target applications are flexible displays, RFID tag, sensor, and memories fabricated on thin plastic films. In particular, we are interested in the integration of high-resolution organic transistor arrays with flexible organic light emitting diode, which is a flexible OLED display. So we are now developing a novel solution processable organic semiconductor materials and fine patterning processes using printing methods. In the future, our goal is to create fully printed electronic circuits using organic transistors. We have been effective in furthering this research work through close interaction between our university and industries. Now, we turn to the Organic Solar Cell Division, where researchers are developing a solution processable organic thin film solar cell. Amorphous silicon solar cells offer high level performance, although their manufacturing costs are currently high. Our goal is to achieve mass production of solar cells with even higher performance than these in the near future by applying printing technology. Professor Nyanji Serdar Sarchivci of Johannes Kepler University in Austria, a worldwide authority in the field of organic thin film solar cells, joined our team in January 2011 as a special guest distinguished research professor. So, 
then, then they approached me if I can be uh, at least in this stage a uh, partial visiting member of this uh, effort in solar cells. So it seems to be very logical because there is a great base of technology also from the university, but also in the, in the industrial base in, in this town, in this very town, Unazawa. So this is an important uh, strength which apparently uh, was attractive for me. As a person also we have very good relation and very long uh, friendship with Kido Sensei. So this, this would be uh, definitely, this will be definitely also great fun in future to work together. We are also happy to welcome a number of other guest distinguished research professors. Among them, Professor Yang Yang, an expert in organic transistors and organic memories from the University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA, and Professor Ching W. Tang, a leading authority in organic solar cells from University of Rochester. The wisdom and capabilities of these highly distinguished guest professors are helping to make us one of the world's foremost research institutions. We are also honored to have as members of our advisory board Professor Shunji Nakamura of the University of California, Santa Barbara, or UCSB. Professor Alan J. Heger, a colleague of Professor Nakamura, who is a recipient of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Professor Carl Leo from the Dresden University of Technology in Germany. Professor Sir Richard Friend from University of Cambridge. And Professor Emeritus Masaaki Yokoyama of Osaka University. The work underway in Yonezawa City, Yamagata Prefecture, and by related industries, as well as at the Yamagata University Faculty of Engineering, is a focus of keen interest from competing locations around the world. Yonezawa City is drawing attention as a growing base for organic electronics research on a par with those that Europe has to offer. In the fall of 2010, we were visited by a study group from the Government of England, followed by a group from Dresden, Germany, in February 2011. As evidenced by these visits, Yonezawa City is a major focus of interest for its rapid growth and development. Already, we are engaged in full-scale competition with the rest of the world. Through our research here in Yonezawa City, we're committed to furthering the happiness and well-being of mankind and the Earth, both now and in the future.